Hello, this is Mike Lively, and it's another exciting day of Flash in the Family, and we're on Chapter 2 today, and we're looking at graphics uh, in Flash. And using graphics, basically we're going to work with all the drawing graphics tools today and show you actually how to use reference objects. So let's go ahead and get to Flash right away. We're going to start without much ado here today. So once again, open up Flash. Go ahead and hit Action Script 3. That's where you want to be. And we're in Flash right now, and let's get to it. Now, once again, we are going somewhat by the book created by Adobe Press, and that is Classroom in a Book. Uh, we will be deviating uh, on certain topics, and today we will be deviating just a little bit. We are adding a little bit more Photoshop than in there, and we're also looking at a little more advanced drawing concepts as well. And one of those more advanced drawing concepts, of course, is the use of reference objects. Really not more of an advanced drawing concept, but not treated as much as it should be in certain classes. Definitely not this book. So uh, I have with me today uh, Matt. Say hello, Matt. Hello. And Zach. Hello. Uh, they're famous now on YouTube. We've had seven or eight videos up, and now these guys are just, you're getting calls every day, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just talk about this real quick. Um, I've actually done a lot of 3D work before. I've worked with uh, tons of different um, 3D softwares. I worked with uh, 3ds Max, with Maya, with uh, Lightwave, with Cinema 4D, which is actually my favorite right now. I really love working with Cinema 4D. And I, actually, even Autodesk actually offered me a job. It was very painful to turn it down. I already had, already had a job, but uh, uh, you know that 3D giant. Just think how happy I would be drawing 3D all day. But whenever you set up a 3D scene, one of the things you want to do is actually set up um, your scenes in terms of reference objects. You create all these reference objects, and you draw to those reference objects. So, uh, so in 2D, you get away with it a little bit, but in 3D, you must have them. And so, I'm actually going to start you off today with reference objects. And what we're going to do is start with a vase or a vase. So you're going to go to the web and you're going to download an image of a vase or go to iStock, for example, and download an image of a vase, one that's attractive, hopefully, and then you're just going to go ahead and create a layer. So I'm going to call my first layer vase reference, vase ref. And we're going to go ahead and just import our vase. So do you guys remember how to import? You press the file. File. There you go. And then import to stage, right? I could import to the library, and if I do, it'll go directly into the library. But this will go to the stage and also to the library as well. So I'm going to import my image. And I've actually gone to the web. And I've, uh, previous to this class, found a vase. Somewhere I have a vase. Uh, somewhere a very beautiful, there's a beautiful, attractive vase. There it is right there. And there's my vase, and it's a little bit large. So how am I going to make it smaller? Got any idea? I'm going to use the free transform tool. There it is right there. Okay. So click on the free transform tool and then click it and see it already it highlights so you can actually bring some things down. And I'm going to hold down the shift key when I do that. Now when I hold the shift key down, what that does is it shrinks it proportionately. And if I don't do that, then I get some really weird shrinking. You see that? But if I hold that shift key down, see it's shrinking correctly. See that? So I'm going to shrink it down so I don't need the whole vase and just bring it up where it needs to go. That's a little big. Okay, let's bring it down a little bit further. And uh, it wants to rotate here. There you go. And bring this up so you can see it. A little bit more. There you go. And there's my base. Ta-da! I'm going to draw that today. All right? Maybe make it just a little bit bigger for you guys. Hold that shift key to shrink proportionally. Okay, real quick, that's good. And that's my base. And that's in one layer. And it's a little bit bright for me. I'm actually going to turn this into a graphic object. Anybody remember how to create a graphic object or a movie clip? What, what shortcut key do I hit? F6. F8. Ta-da! This is a movie clip or graphic object. And I'm going to call this vase. I don't think I taught you that last time. Ta-da! F6 actually creates a keyframe. So let's go ahead and hit vase. And I have a graphic object now. And let's take a look at our library. How do I get to library? Move the shortcut key for that. Control. Con very good, Matt. Matt, then there's my vase right there in the library. Very good. And uh, it's a little bit large for me. Now, the reason I turned it into a graphic is so I could actually use some transparency tools here. So if I look right here in this properties panel, I have a number of uh, little things appearing right here is, uh, of course, the position, and uh, x, y, and the width and the height, and then actually the color. Now, why I'm on here, can I ask you guys, what is the positional coordinates of flash? Do you have any idea? If I was to say to you guys real quick here, what is this coordinate position right here in pixels? What, what is that coordinate position? Have any idea? See, this is the most important thing. I should have taught you this the first class. Does this mean I'm a bad teacher? <laughs> you don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the coordinate position here actually is 0, 0. Okay? That's what that coordinate is right there. So right there, okay, at the very corner there is 0, 0. Now, this is not like math class. 
All right. So zero zero in a sense math class. As you get larger in x, you go that way. Okay, that's great. But as you get larger in y, you go that way. Now that's so unusual. If you want to go negative, you go up in y. If you want to go positive, you go down in y. So it's not like math class, right? Because negative is is is, is uh, supposed to be down, right? Right, but it's not in, in computer language. Now, the reason that is is because all these computer geeks were always looking at their CRT monitors. And to the world, the CRT monitor started right there. That was a, the beginning of the universe. And so zero, zero was there. Okay. And, and it had stuck. And that's how we do our zero, zero. And uh, you can redo that, but that's how we do it here. So I've got my zero, zero there. And I just wanted to show you that because we were looking at coordinates. So let me come back. Let me click on this image right here. It's a graphic now. And basically a graphic is, doesn't have a movie clip. And I can now actually kind of, I want to bring the alpha down. So I'm going to come down here to the styles right here. And I'm going to choose a different alpha. And I'm going to call this alpha. And alpha is going to change a little bit less. Because I don't really need anything. I just need to see, do the outline of this. So now I have everything the way I, I want it. So I can actually start drawing with some of my tools. What do I want to do that's so important right now? So I don't mess up this image. August. Very good. Matt, you're going to get an A plus today. Zach was burning you last night. I mean, he, last time he was just like cruising. Did you study? You just, it just abs you absorbed it, didn't you? He needs to export one day. Oh, okay. So then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to hit this extra uh, new layer. So i got a layer up here. And then I'm going to call it my outline. Or just outline. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a real simple drawing right here, to sh and I'm just going to draw it with straight lines. All right. And so I'm going to come along here, and uh, man, you know what? That is like, I can't draw that. Just, I can't draw that. So what do I need to do? I need to make that a little bit bigger, right? So let's just make it at least 100 and what? 30. 30. Okay, let's go for that. Uh, that's better. I can see that, and I'm going to bring this up a little bit. If it would come up. Well, that didn't do anything. There you go. All right, we'll just go with that. So now I'm just going to draw some straight lines. So I'm going to come down here at the bottom. And I'm going to draw a straight line here. And I'm going to draw a... Oh, you want to drag and drop. So draw a straight line here. Ta-da! Okay, and draw a line here. And draw a line here. And draw a line here. And... Sorry. You want to start where you left off. Draw a line here. 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 Now that doesn't look very good, does it? And and if that was it, you guys, you're probably going to run down the register, and what are you going to ask for? Your money back, right? Okay. So I'm going to do something here. I got to. I'm kind of nervous. I see you guys are getting ready to leave the room, so I'm going to come down here and see what what happens when I put my little arrow here. What do I see? A little circle there. So I can pull that just a little bit. Look at that. Hoo hoo. Good feelings are happening here now, and I can actually kind of move that that way if I want to. Now this doesn't have to be exactly like the reference image itself. You can change it a little bit. You can also grab these little things right here and move those around as well a little bit. Kind of come along here and grab this. Now I'm starting to feel better about my life. Don't you think so? And come along here to grab this and drag that. There you go. Ooh, now good feelings, good feelings. Not bad feelings anymore because we're having bad feelings. I can see you guys are getting ready to walk out. So this guy does not know what. Now that's not good, is it? Control Z if this does not work for you. Let me bring this down just a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm not exactly going to the vase because I want to draw a vase, but, you know, maybe one that's a little bit stylized. I'm going to bring that in just a little bit. There you go. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. I'm getting, I mean, really happy feelings here right now. Control-Z. Didn't like that. Now, I can't quite see that where it needs to go, so what do I do, Matt? Make it bigger. And actually, when you go in, you get a lot more leeway on what you can do with the flash. So we made that bigger. Ah, I need a lot. I need more. There you go. And let's make that get a little rounded edge there. Now that makes me feel good. Okay, great. Now there's ways to do this and I and I'm I'm going to just show you one easy way to do this. I want the other side. And so we don't really know a whole lot about some of the things we can do in Flash, but we know we can copy things, right? So if I double click on this line, I have a line. So what how do I duplicate that line? What magic key do I use, Zach? This is your chance to shine, Zach. Your chance for millions to learn how to duplicate something in Flash. I didn't tell you last time. Control D. 
So hold down Control D. Boom. There's a line right there. <laughs> ah, the trick question. Move it over now. And that's not right, is it? That's not a very good face. So actually, I'm just going to use my transform tools. There's other ways to do this, but I'll just use the transform tool, and I'm just going to move it that way. Ta-da. And I'm just going to, you know, I'm just really not, just kind of doing a sloppy job here. But, you know, actually in the long run, and I want to get off that transfer tool back to the pointer. Then I'm going to double click that and just move that back where it needs to go. All right, there you go. Looks did a pretty good job. Now, if it's not quite on, then you just hit the transfer tool again. And when you just play around with it, until you get it right on where you want it. Okay, so it looks good. And right now, it's all aesthetics how it looks. So I got part of a vase. Now I'm doing pretty good here. I'm uh, doing pretty good as, uh, very well. I, I don't think it's quite high enough. So let me actually do just a little bit more work on it. Bring it up. There you go. And I think that's good.